How many structures like that do you reckon there's around here? Oh, a lot of people tear them down. I know there's one up the road. It's about dilapidated. Yeah. There, I've seen about three of them. Really? Yeah, one of them's almost completely covered up with dirt. It's an old lady's house right over yonder. Yeah. And uh, I did a video with her. And then as you go to where the county line tees, there's another stone house. There's one behind in the backyard that looks, it's bigger than that one, but it's similar. So they're kind of all similar, but they, they, they ain't many left. Oh, I don't know. Cool is to know the history, like know who built them, what year. What are they gonna do architectural landscaping with this? Planning it out, see they got the flags laid out. We're talking about that side there. Yeah. Here. Got it where you can see down in it now. Wow. Well, I'm back watching what they're doing. They're placing these rocks. They got a way they want them to look. They put dirt over this mound. So they're setting them up with the entrance. A really nice entrance. All right, you see what it looks like uh, next lap. All right, well, this is the sign on the other side of the sign that I did yesterday. So this said, write your plans in pencil, but give God the eraser. Well, let me see which way the wind is going. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can. <laughs> yeah. Write your plans with a pencil and give God the eraser. Write your plans in pencil and give God the eraser. Wow, that's kind of deep. Uh, one thing is that I've learned is not to make too many plans. Have goals, but plans are different. Plans or something you do spur of the moment. Goals are something that you achieve over time. You set your sights on it and you take the steps to accomplish the goal. But yeah, even that you gotta write in a pencil because you never know what's gonna happen. And I don't I really don't understand giving God the eraser let him erase our memories because that's what he's been doing the God of this world uh, don't want us to remember nothing don't want to tell us the truth about nothing and when I'm saying God of this world I'm talking about the evil side of the creator gods that have put us under a strong delusion like I was speaking of the other day those are the ones with the erasers. They erase history as fast as it happens. They erase uh, people's minds. They erase people's lives. If you come against them in a powerful way, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay dearly. I've come against them and I've paid. I've had to pay, pay the price. My social media is so tied up, shadow banned, uh, demonetized, otherwise, uh, almost threatened to take away my YouTube channel pretty much put me under the penalty of 
myself, restricting myself with what I say. And really, they want me to take down over 200 and something videos that I collaborated with other people and it was in public domain. It was in Creative Commons. I had the right to use their work, but YouTube and Google have really just come after my channel for telling truth. Now that's the God with the eraser right there. And the God of this world is not what we think. And the God that we want to be taught about in the Bible school and in Sunday school when we was kids, that's a fairy tale. That God doesn't exist. The thing that here is here that has the power to manipulate time and space are creator gods and their Nephilims, Anunnaki's, uh, high level spiritual beings that were cast down into this dimensional realm that have hacked uh, our actual soul code DNA and literally they've made these physical forms and trapped us in them. That's a deep well, boy, but I'm going to tell you something. It is, it is what's going on. It's what's happened. And the truth's going to come out sooner or later. And eventually everybody's going to realize that the eraser has been well in place. They can erase uh, your life. They can erase your history. Not that you need to cling to your history or your future. Don't have no plan for the future, really. If you really want to know you, if my heart and my thinking on it, I don't have no plan. I ain't got a clue where I'll be come January, February, March. I just know where I'd like to be. I'd like to be on the beach somewhere where I could be kiteboarding. That's what I'd like to be doing. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, it's out of my control until it gets there. I can take, like a goal, I can take a step to make it happen. But we'll just have to see what happens. Boy, that wind has kicked up all of a sudden. All right, I'm going to leave it with you, people. Don't take my word for nothing. Look it up for yourself. See if you can find out who the Creator Gods are.